Hi guys, how you doing? So I thought we would look at these, which is the Space Marine Legion Auto Cannons. Um, they come in a pack of five. Um, they look absolutely amazing. So why don't I get these bad boys open and let's take a closer look. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, welcome back. So here we have them. We have uh, the Space Marine Auto Cannons, which you can now give to your pre-heresy um, heavy weapon guys and I've got to say these are immensely cool I mean just look at that that is pretty nice they're gonna look quite cool so he holds this um, let's just get my hand there so basically one hand slots in there the other hand slots underneath so where you would have your uh, bolter it normally slots underneath like that and that's where you would hold it underneath there um, and attached to his back are these bad boys of mass destruction which are the ammo feeds uh, so let's just get a good look at those so they plug into the guns and these literally clip onto the back of your backpacks like so nice and easy the backpack just slots in there and then that comes round and if I can get it to if I can spin it around, don't think I can. Basically, that slots onto there like so. So you might have to do a bit of jigging around using your hot water or a hairdryer just to get them into the right place. But I've got to say, I'm really impressed. Um, and it even comes with a little, a little scanner uh, that fits on the top, just there, um, which mounts on the top of this bit just here. There we go, just there. Now what I'm going to be doing with this, I'm going to be doing a unit of nine and I'll be doing a sergeant with a power fist and a plasma pistol as usual uh, and that will be my general uh, layout uh, for my heavy weapon squad. So that will give me three heavy weapon squads which includes a um, missile launcher squad, a heavy bolter squad and now the auto cannon squad. So I'm going for lots of troop killers and these are fantastic for hitting vehicles as well. So let's have a look at how they look once they're put together and I'll see you in a second. Take care. Hi guys, how are you doing? So here we are back again and we finished them. It's taken us probably about two days, oh well over a period of two days to finish them off, uh, which is not too bad. And I've got to say, I'm quite chuffed. Now, I've used some different materials for a change. I've used AK Interactive's engine oil, um, which has been absolutely brilliant. So let's just take a, a little look at this fella. So, apparently it's not the size of your gun that counts, it's how you use it. Well, in this case, I totally disagree because this is one massive cannon. Um, he is weathered, same as all the others. Uh, well chipped and... Uh, and well covered in weathering powders. Uh, I've gone for, to distinguish them from the rest of the heavy units, uh, they've got their sergeant's own colors, which is uh, red and yellow. And uh, the engine oil's come out quite nicely. Now I've used the engine oil on the belt feed and also on the main barrel itself, just to break it up. And on the two uh, vents on the backpack, it just sort of uh, gives it a better, I suppose a different look to everything else where Everything else is very matte and lacquered, and the engine oil is quite glossy. So they're pretty much all the same in that respect. They're all weathered heavily and uh, chipped very, very heavily as well, which I kind of like. I kind of like that look. Uh, the sergeant has gone with the main same theme. Uh, I'm just going to highlight his plasma pistol slightly. Um, I've used the GW Power Fist uh, because I ran out of the Forge World ones, um, which I quite like actually because it's kind of different and it's got like a nice eagle bit on there, which is very sort of imperial fist. Um, he's got a Fox Caster on the back there, but it's actually called something else, like a begins with end I can never remember. Uh, this allows him uh, to to let teleporting troops teleport within a certain distance of them and doesn't allow, allow them to scatter which is quite good and also uh, gives me line of sight for when I'm doing bombardments as well uh, I can use his line of sight uh, to bring down the pain on my enemies uh, which is quite nice now this guy I've given like a little uh, scanner there which is built uh, built onto the gun and I've only done it with one of the guys because it just looks quite cool just one uh, one of them like that um, but they're all pretty much the same, which is <laughs> which is pretty cool. I mean, they're all, like I said, heavily damaged. 
I really love these. These are these are these are so nice. There we go. I mean, it's just the gun is just huge. I can't wait to see what these are like in battle. Now these are good for troop killers and light vehicles. So uh, with nine of them all lined up, ready to cause a load of pain. It's going to be quite interesting to see what damage I can do with these. Uh, so I will be fielding these in my army uh, and they're going to be very, very exciting. So that's the Forge World Auto Cannons for the Space Marines uh, for the Horus Heresy series. Uh, I hope you like them. Um, and um, the next ones we'll be doing is the uh, probably the Volkite uh, Culvers or the Volkite Chargers. I don't know yet on a special unit. So guys, I will see you later on. Oh, and uh, that's it really. Nothing else to say. <laughs> so see you later.